Are you a gazelle? Are you a lion? Let me tell you the difference between a gazelle and a lion. When the gazelle wakes up, it runs. But if a lion ain't chasing it, it stops running. But when a lion wakes up, it don't need nobody to push it. It pushes itself. Why? Because he realizes that if he does not catch that gazelle, not only him, but his family don't eat. What are you playing this game for? What's your passion? What's your drive? What's your purpose? What's your purpose for playing this game? No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and have whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game? Or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Have you possessed the game? When you are a lion, it does not make a difference. You realize that if your family is going to eat, that if that pack of lions is to survive, then you gotta go hunt. You a gazelle, you gonna come up short. You a gazelle, you gonna have an average experience. You a student, I need you in lion mode. You an entrepreneur, I need you in lion mode. You trying to lose weight, lion mode. You can't do nothing significant in gazelle mode. Nothing impressive happens in gazelle mode. Nothing happens in run mode, give up mode, quit mode. Scared mode, fearful mode, nothing happened. Everything happened in lion mode like I'm coming to get you. A part of being a beast just ain't eating a gazelle. A part of being a beast is the hunts. It's the hunt that they're excited about. They like to see the gazelles run. Then boom, they take off. Cause real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. You're not in love with the process. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. I'm like the lion. I'm not the gazelle. I don't need something external to motivate me. I find something within. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. When you are a true hunter, you hunt until you get a gazelle, and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding. Keep working. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. From this day forward, I will give 120% or nothing at all. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit. You might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. Don't count the cost. You get to a point when you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Winners win and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's going to become a culture. You got to give up that mediocre part of you. You got to give up this common thinking you got, telling you you can't do this, that you can't have this, that it's not possible for you. You got to give that up. You got to trust yourself. You got to know you came here with the stuff in you. You are a winner. You were born to win. It is your right to win. It is your right to have your dream. You don't get this stuff. You don't get these ideas unless you also have the capacity to make it happen. Use your gift and become stronger, become better, become faster, become smarter, become more productive. And you know what? You will build a life that says, I told you so without having to say a fucking word.